goes spelt the same way forwards as backwards. So it's H A W A H. Hawa. What's up, people? I ended up here where I am today because at some point um, an egg cell met a sperm cell and before this moment I was actually in two separate places at the same exact time. I kind of was living these two parallel lives in two separate places and then the sperm met the egg and I guess I kind of became one. The earth is my home, I am a world citizen and uh, my patriotism is to the earth into the universe. I spent my childhood traveling back and forth between New Jersey and India. And I spent many summers in India in a city called Bombay, now known as Mumbai. Mumbai was like my second home. Grandparents and uncles and aunts, they all live in Mumbai. My life at this point has been trying to figure out where the intersection is between these two worlds and how can I kind of bridge my experience as a world traveler um, and help people see, uh, see ways that we can work together to create a sustainable world. This is our destiny. To hear your voice before you traded it for a new one, before you write another song, before you paint another landscape, before you design another building, before you teach another student, please sit with me in silence. silence. I'm working on kickstarting a modern day renaissance of Hafiz and Rumi, right? I'm looking for the modern day poets of the world. We eat bombs for breakfast, international treaties for dinner. My stomach aches. False promises are digested. Cancers incubate the television screen. After a couple of weeks, they say it's all over. We have claimed victory. The enemy is no more, no more, no more. I love both poetry and yoga. I've been writing poetry since I was probably in sixth or seventh grade. I've been doing yoga probably my whole life. So, the idea of bringing the two together was a natural fit. It was a natural extension of my, of my being, of my work, of what, what inspires and excites me. I can even do yoga on my bike. It's really nice. I can stretch. <laughs> Keep the hamstrings open. The book will be hopefully raising a lot of money for One Common Unity that I helped to start 10 years ago. One Common Unity, a 501c3 grassroots nonprofit organization located in our nation's capital, has been supporting a movement for peace education and the building of a nonviolent culture through music and art. The organization's primary goal is to use the arts and to use music to educate and inspire people to live more nonviolently and to learn how to tap into their unique potential as individuals that are part of a community. I'm not an artist. I've never been schooled in art. I've never taken any art classes except for once in seventh grade. I got a C in that class. Um, my art teacher made me feel as unartistic as someone could feel. Um, and actually, after that, after that class, I never took art again. I never took an art class again. All the work that I do, like the photography and like things like this and things like that, I just, I just do it out of the back of my head. I don't have any, I don't have any schooling. I don't have any platform. I don't have any eye to understand like what mixes with what. I just kind of do it because it feels good to me. Like for example, going in and teaching a class, I would do this all the time. I'd go into Wilson High School, no lesson plan, no clue what I was gonna teach for the next two hours, 90 minutes, whatever, you know, 30 students, inner city kids walk in there and it would be a brilliant class. I think I do tap into something that allows me to channel what needs to happen in the moment. A lot of times people finish a class like, damn, that was so good. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I can ever do that again because I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Evolutionary to me is 
embracing cooperation as the realistic means to species survival. In order to see the year 3000 or even see the year 5000, we have to move past only competition. We have to live consciously because every individual choice has significant repercussions on our world and our future. It's the reason I try to buy locally, grow food in my backyard, and maintain a vegetarian diet. I work on cultivating my own inner peace through a daily routine that involves practicing the mind-body arts. Somewhere in there I'll shower, you know, brush my teeth, like normal people. If it's a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday morning, I quickly pack my bag. I'll probably have my bag packed the night before I go to bed, and I head off to Kung Fu practice. And I train with my teacher in Tacoma Park, and train Kung Fu from about 7.30 to 9.30. My hope is that is that when I when I die that I really feel I gave all I could give. You know, that I really woke up every day with the intention of healing. People up in the his house, we're here in Washington, D.C., kicking it old school. You and me moving through the streets, gentrified. This place, it looks like it never used to be. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. Hey, y'all, hey, hey, y'all, hey. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. We're making a movie. I hope this thing is really recording. What if it's not recording?